Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Let's get ready to get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the evening scripture study on his third day in uh, December 2018. Let's get it in. Nicole. Donna, Donna, read up, B. We are chiming in. Let's get it in. Shalom. Uh, 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 um, let's go to, uh, Let's go to uh, Psalms 37, 16. Let me see. Make sure I want to teach this. Do I want to teach this? Let me think about this. Just one more second. Um... Do I want to switch? Yeah, I think I'm going to switch. I just feel like switching. So I'm going to switch the lesson. Let's go to Hebrews. Yeah, I just switched. Let's see. Let's go to Hebrews 11. That's what I'm in the mood to teach. Hebrews 11. All right. <clears throat> Hebrews 11. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Help us know how I ask you to send a relevant word to this to your people that, again, we may grow thereby. We're completely dependent on you and we trust and thank you in the matchless name of Yahushua. I'm going to see how when we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, man. Kim Yana. What's up, young lady? Um, JD, you got you be having me thinking about the razor thin mustache. Thing I'd be tripping in my head, man. You'd mess me all up. Anyway, Hebrews eleven. <clears throat> Let's get it. L look at this, y'all. Here we go. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The the evidence of things not seen, right? Um. Okay, without me necessarily going into, you know, the Greek, but I won't, um, I won't rob the scripture, okay? Without me necessarily going into the Greek, I'm going to deal with it from, um, physical, spiritual standpoint, which, again, I'm not going to embellish I'm not going to teach nothing that's not true. That's the main thing. I'm not going to teach nothing that's not true. A Korea. So, here we go. Hang out, Williams. Yeah, you're perfectly welcome to hang out, man. Anyway. Hebrews 11. Look. Like, I'm not going to rob the scripture, so y'all look at this. Look what it said. It said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now, if I borrow from the definition of substance, right, without cheating the scripture, right, because um, this is uh, um, what true faith does. I'm coming from that standpoint. What true faith really does is produce a tangible substance. That's what it does. Faith is seeable. What you can't see is what you're hoping for. You can't see that. But you can see the substance of what you're hoping for produces. Right? 
Now, faith is the substance, the tangible. It produces a substance. I'm hungry and I got faith in food. I'm going to eat it. Me eating it is the substance. The evidence of things not seen. What you can't see is what you're hoping for. I hope, I hope to be with the most high in eternity. You can't see that. That's something I would be hoping in my heart. Again, your heart pumps blood through the body. This is a spiritual heart. You follow me? Where, where you think, right? But I am hoping in my heart. You can't see that. But it produces an evidence of what's not seen. What's not seen is what I'm hoping for, but the evidence is the substance, what I do. <clears throat> for by it, um, you, man don't see like y'all see, right? Man look on the outer appearance, y'all look at the heart, right? For by it, what is it? Faith. Faith in what though? Because you can have faith in anything. You have faith in yourself. We're talking about the faith that's in the most high. For by it, faith, the elders, the patriots, right? Obtained a good report. What was good about the report? That they believed Yah. 100%. They believed the most high. Um, look, y'all, you didn't put yourself here. Something bigger than you put you here. And something bigger than mankind got the, 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 the earth laid out. Bottom line. And we didn't do it. For by it, the elders, they, they were aware of the most high, right? They obtained a good report. Right? Now, to further substantiate what we're dealing with, the third verse say, through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of Yah. So even the framing of the world. They were framed by the word of Yah. And we got an example in Genesis when he said, let there be light and there was light. Right? Talked about the firmness. He spoke and it was so. So through faith we understand and, and that's him having confidence in what he said. The word is going out of his mouth, won't return on him void, but will accomplish what he pleased. And he already told you uh, 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 what, it, what, 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 what he pleased. When he said, let there be light, he pleased for light to appear. And that's what happened, right? So through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yah, so that the things which are seen are not made of things which do appear. Now we're going to get into it a little bit, right? By faith, Abel offered unto Yah more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, Yah testifying of his gifts, and by it being dead, yet speaking. Um, having a relationship with the Most High defies the natural, because the Most High is supernatural, and he's the one that created the natural out of things which don't even appear. So him being able to speak after he's dead is based on some faith stuff. That's having a relationship with the Most High. That's why we can't run around here tripping off our current circumstances. That's why he don't have no pleasure in cowards, people that withdraw from him, either for, for personal advantage, because you're lonely or horny or just, just rude and just scandalous, or you just want to do you, or that you cower out based on circumstances. We got we to gotta have faith in the most high to the point that we believe that uh, him being for us is more than the whole world being against us. And we got every reason to believe that, especially his children, because his children is in a precarious situation, precarious circumstances right now. And, and they're, they're put in a wilderness experience where they got to uh, 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 trust the most high. But one beautiful thing about it, he going to come through. Nothing natural here. They kind of going bananas in the natural around here. They got laser beams and fake food and they just wicked as I don't know what. They even got a fake church system they got going. We are surrounded. But through faith, we understand that the, the world was framed by the word of Yah. So the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, uh, uh, 
uh, Abel offered unto Yah more excellent sacrifice than Cain, comparison analysis, right? By which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Yah testified of his gifts and by it, him being dead yet speaking. So, so the, the main thing is for us to be able to produce the appropriate faith towards the most high that he's pleased with us. You ain't got to worry about the natural. You ain't got to worry about the threat. You don't have to worry about your circumstances. We rise above all circumstances based on our faith. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what the bank account said. You cast your cares upon him, knowing that he cared for you, he's, he's more for you than the whole world. And that's just the real truth, y'all. We cannot get caught up in this temporary stuff and get tricked out of our souls. You just, it's just not, come on, y'all, by faith, right? Fifth verse, by faith, Enoch was translated, he should not see death and was not found because Yah had translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased Yah. Now, hopefully we get into a pleasing Yah contest. Those that belong to him have pleasure in uh, uh, attempting to please him want to walk circumspectly before him, want to walk pleasing in his sight. That's the goal, to walk pleasing in his sight. That's what we all should be striving for, to please him, right? Because he was translated that he should not see death. What did he do? He had this testimony for his translation that he pleased him. How did he please him? Six verse, we'll tell you. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. Look, if we understand that faith produces a substance, it produces a tangible response, it produces it produce action. That's, that's what, faith, faith, faith is more tangible, it's the evidence. You can't go in court without evidence. You got to have proof, right? So what you're hoping for, people can't see it. But what you're hoping for is going to be manifested in the natural. It's going to be seeable. If you really belong to him, people are going to be able to see it. If he's master of your life, your faith is the production of the proof that he's master of your life. And without that proof, that tangible proof, that's why the word teaches faith without works is dead. You got dead faith. You're just talking. Faith produces a substance, evidence of the unseen. If you never open your mouth, I don't know. But all I got to do is watch you. All, all I got to do is watch you. If you got to use the bathroom, you're going to be hoping to use it. All I got to do is watch you. And you're going to produce some faith in that bathroom. Because you're going to get up and go. And that is the evidence that you had to use the bathroom. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Can religion offer you the opportunity to please him without faith? You verbally saying how much you love him. You going to church every Sunday. Was that, you think, you think he pleased with that? No, without faith. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. What is faith? Isn't faith hearing Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of Yah. Is it faith hearing, studying and show yourself to prove, searching the scripture for in them that you think you have eternal life? You're, you're getting in the word. You're hiding the word in your heart that you might not sin against him. Is it, is it, we got to have the, the object of what we have faith in. We got to have the object of what we should have faith in. Not having faith in, 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 in people, not having faith in money. People got faith in that type of stuff. But we're talking about faith to the saving of your soul, having a relationship with the creator of all. That's what we're talking about, right? So without faith, it's impossible to please him. Why are people religiously trying to approach him, have a relationship with him, and please him without faith? And if you understand faith without works is dead, faith is what you do. Faith is obeying him. Faith is not what you do in your own righteousness, because our righteousness is as filthy rag. Doing good deeds ain't going to help you in this one. Carving, carving turkeys and giving away presents. Walking old ladies across the street. No, no, you, you need a faith in the most high to the saving of your soul. 
Because you got to understand that mankind is doomed. We were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity, but he didn't leave us there. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, but we got a shot at the title because of what the Mashiach did. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That means you're going to put your faith in him. That means you're going to put your faith in him. You're going to trust that he's able to lead and guide you into all truth. He's able to rescue you from this present evil world and the consequence of sin. So without faith, Faith in what? The word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. The word was Yah. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yah must first believe that he is. Do you believe in him? And that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The diligently seek him is having faith in him. Don't let the words fool you. Diligently seeking him, you're seeking his voice. You're, 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 you're seeking his will for your life. And, and, and you're going to obey his will for your life. You're going to obey his word. You're going to put faith in what he say. If he tell you don't do something, you're going to put faith in it and not do it. If he tell you to do something, you're going to put your faith and trust in it and you're going to do it. It's the carnal mind that ain't going to do it. That's why, that's why we got to be born again. You got to get away from your stinking thinking. The way you used to do stuff, you got to get away from that because it'll kill you. That's why Romans the 8th chapter said, uh, the carnal mind is enmity against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. There is a state of mind that cannot be saved. Listen, it can go to church, y'all. It can play the organ and the drums and slap the tambourine. It can say hallelujah and it can dance. But what it ain't going to do is obey. There's a corner of mine that will go to church, but they're still going to cuss you out. It's, just, it's still going to tell the lie. It's still going to get high. It, it's still going to go to the strip club. Every one thing ain't, ain't somebody else's. Whatever your thing is, you might not like orgies. You might want to do yours privately. You might want a one-on-one. You might folks like the group stuff. I don't know how you do your thing. But if it goes against uh, uh, the will of Yah, that's the carnal mind. The carnal mind lives like that. And the carnal mind is not of faith. That's why we got to trust him. We got to have faith in him. And he's able to deliver us from our carnality. Give us new birth in him so we can walk in the necessary faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. Without faith, without achieving the ability to follow him and to be obedient to him, you're doomed. And he gives the ability to those that believe in him. He baptizes himself inside of them, giving them the word, revealing the word to them. You need the word. And you need the ability to obey the word. When you carnal, the word condemns you. That's why 2 Corinthians, the third chapter, say the letter killeth. But it's the ruah. It's the spirit that gives life. If you want life, it's going to have to come through your ability to hear the word and uh, obey it. And he gives that to those that love him with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. If you love something more than you love him, the word ain't going to work in your life. It'll work a little a little bit, a churchy. You'll be a little churchy. You, you, you'll believe the word enough to go to church and maybe give a couple of dollars, but you don't believe the word enough uh, to, to, to live horny and tell yourself no. You, you don't believe the word enough to, you feel like going off, you're going to go off. You're going to compliment your anger. You're going to compliment your, your evil humanity, how you don't play that. You, you're going to compliment how ghetto you can be if pushed. And you're going to be proud about that because a carnal mind like that type stuff. But when you belong to the Most High, you learn how to walk in selflessness and walk in faith in His Word, not in yourself, not in your ego, not in your pride, not, not, not in the fact that you're a player, player from the Himalaya. None of, not, all that stuff is old. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You're a new creation in him, and you live by faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. you got to have it. you got to have it. And you got to know what it is. 
time out for this churchy definition of faith. We need the real faith about right now because it's going down. We need the real faith that produces action, right? Ain't that what it say? Now faith is the substance, tangible, right? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. It produces evidence. The hope is what's invisible. Hope is invisible. But the evidence of what you're hoping for is seeable. I can tell what you want by what you do. You can't draw now on him with your mouth, honor him with your lips, but your lifestyle is far from him. It's telling on you because that means your faith is in your flesh. Your faith is in carnality. Your faith is in humanity and not spirituality no, or not in him. <laughs> but without faith, it's impossible, can't be done. It ain't going to be done. Without faith, without hearing the word and then doing it. Hearing the word is a part of it. But you got a lot of people that hear it, but they don't do it. They, 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 they don't do it. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to y'all must first believe that he is. You got to be a believer. And that he's a rewarder, meaning only, only, only things we do for him is going to last. He's a rewarder. Your, your labor of love is not in vain. You obeying him and, and, and trusting him with your soul, the souls of your family. He's a rewarder. You, you believe that he can rescue you. You believe that he dispatches angels of protection about you, keeping you safe in this present and evil world. You're not worried about this stuff. They can threaten your life. They can threaten your freedom. They can come against you heavenly. You're going to stick with him with a state of mind until the wheels fall off and having faith that the wheels ain't going to fall off unless you don't need no wheels no more. He'll give you wings into eternal life. But without faith, we got to know that. All right, let's read a little more. Watch this. Let me show you faith. Seventh verse. By faith, Noah being warned of Yah of things not seen as yet, move with fear and prepare the ark to the saving of his house. Watch this. It ain't, had never rained before. But yet the Most High was letting him know it's going to rain. He dealing with him futuristically, but he trusted the Most High enough to deal uh, on some circumstances had never happened. By faith, him trusting the Most High, he believed that he was, and he believed that he's a rewarder, that he was going to bring it to pass, right? By faith, Noah being warned, he warned him. Folks, it's wicked around here. You better build a boat because I'm going to get them. By faith, Noah being warned of y'all of the things not seen as yet. Move with fear. How many of us is doing that? How many of us is coming from, uh, out from among them and being separate? How, how, many of, how many of them know? You're right, Cliff. But how, how, many, how, many, how, many, how many of us is withdrawing from having a form of yachtiness denying the power thereof? You know what that is? Having a form of it is you're churchy. You, 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 you're, you got the language, but you ain't living nothing. Around, ar around, around the so-called church, you know, you're all holy and act a certain way. When the church leaves, you cussing and, 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 and smoke cigarettes, getting drunk and high. Crotch, uh, crotch, crotch, crotch watching. You checking the quart the cleavage, cleavage and, and crotches, back pockets. Look what happened by faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. By faith, Noah being warned of Yah of the thing he's warning us now. I can't, I can't, I can't fornicate, I can't commit a door, I can't go get drunk. I can't go to the, I can't, I'm not going to the club, strip club. I'm not doing that. I'm not finna, I'm not finna start cussing. He said, let not filthy commun communications come out of your mouth. I can't do it. No, I'm cool. Be angry. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of stuff to be mad. F folks is scandalous. You're going to have plenty of reason to be mad. But he said, be angry and sin not. That's what his words say. Can I put my faith in that? I better. I, be, I better, I better, I better trust him if I'm going to say I have faith in him. I, I don't need the doctrine from the, 
from Satan talking about you should not surely die. I'm not going to let a fake preacher misconstrue the word talking about we sinners saved by grace. That's an oxymoron. That's what I should have been teaching right now anyway, huh? But I'll talk about it a little bit. Sinners, according to Timothy 1, beginning like at the seventh verse, say that uh, the law is for sinners, not grace. Grace is for the believer that delivers you from the law. Grace gives you the power to walk in the spirit and obey the most high because without grace, you couldn't do it because we're carnal, sold under sin. We got a sinful nature, but through his unmerited favor, the power of his spirit living inside of us, it gives us the power to become a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. We don't operate carnal no more. We're able to do what the Messiah did in the garden of Gethsemane. He said, not my will, thy will be done. Blesses the man that endureth temptation. I'm tempted and tested, but I can endure it because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. If we're going to start rightly dividing the word of truth and get from up under the Catholicized Christianity position, that really is the Catholicism that came from the garden when the serpent told Eve, thou shalt not surely die. That was a lie then and it's a lie now. She died, he died, and we all died. We're born in sin and shaped iniquity based on that lie that they believed. And the sick part about is people in church still believing it right now. Busting hell wide open from church. But without faith, you got to know what faith is. And you got to know faith without works is dead. And then James offered this said, can dead faith save you? Heck no. Running your mouth, praising him and all that churchy religious stuff. He said, man, I hate your solemn assemblies. I can't stand it. All that noise you making and you just like the devil. Bunch of hypocrites. By faith, Noah been warned of Yah. Look what he did. He came and interrupted the flow of his life. When you have faith in the most high, he's an interrupter. He will interrupt the very course of your entire life, tell you to hit your brakes and repent. I don't know what, where you was headed, what you thought you were going to do with your life. He will tell you, pump your brakes, you can't marry them. Pump your brakes, you can't hang with them. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. He'll tell you, put that down, you can't smoke that no more. Put that down, you can't drink that no more. Come out of that religious state of mind. That's what he did to Shaul. They call him Paul, y'all. He, he, he thought he was helping the Most High, going to Damascus to get letters to fight against the truth. Those that believed in the Messiah. He was religious as heck and he loved Yah. He just was twisted in his theology. He interrupted his whole little church, his little whole little church life. Boom, the, the truth hit him, knocked him off his donkey, blinded him to represent the blindness of his spiritual state. Then he had Ananias come down, lay hands on him, the scales fall off his eyes and teach him the truth the right way. The Most High is an interrupter. He'll interrupt the course of your life, if you have faith in him. Because if you have faith in him, he's going to call you out of the darkness into the marvelous light, including calling you out of religion into a true relationship. But without faith, six verse, y'all, but without faith is impossible. Can't do it. Care how nice you are. Oh, he just nice. Oh, she's so sweet. Care how nice you are. Our righteousness is as filthy right. Do you want to be saved from sin, from hell? from damnation of mankind, which at one point the most high regretted making man, they so wicked. Oh, God is good. He wouldn't, he wouldn't kill nobody. He loved. Well, wasn't that him that drowned everybody? See that, just that, 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 that state of mind, that, that Casper, the friendly ghost state of mind, as opposed to what they call the Holy Ghost. But without faith, look, the word says he's angry with the wicked every day. And because the judgment of the most high isn't executed speedily, it's set in the heart of man to do wicked. People do wicked and wake up the next day, say, God is good. They say, don't they? And then they got the theology. We all, we all sinners saved by grace. No, he's going to kill you. He drowned everybody. He killed Ananias and Sapphira in Acts the fifth chapter. He destroyed Judas. 
called him the son of perdition. Yah has nothing to play with. He shipped his two children, according to Deuteronomy 28, into the four corners of the earth into uh, slavery. And they got dogged out. And they got jacked for their identity. I know them say they are Jews and they're not, but are the synagogue of Satan? That's Revelation 2 and 9, but in Revelation 3 and 9, he said, but no, full circle. I'm going to have them worship at your feet and prove to the whole world I have loved you. The scales have fallen off true Israel's eyes and those devils that's running all the media, all the music, all the porno, all this, all this crazy stuff. Tel Aviv is the, the capital of homosexuality. All them devils over there pretending, posing in front. The most high is revealing. Got folks shocked. Got folks shocked who true Israel is. It's, all, it's, all, it's always written. History didn't prove it. Not cat out the bag now. But, it, but but that being the case, look at what he allowed to happen to them. And look what he's allowed to happen to them right now. It's still happening. They're still getting shot down. And whoever killed them get to go to Disneyland with their family and celebrate. Proving that they're out of line. Come on, y'all. But ain't nothing happening to them. They're getting rewarded for killing Israel. They're getting rewarded for it. They get, look, 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 this Catholicized false doctrine position needs to stop and we need to start standing with truth and the inconvenience to come along with it. If you got faith in him, without faith, it's impossible to please him anyway. Come on, y'all. But there's, there's a transformation process happening coming out, from out, out of Catholicism into the truth of the word. All this symbolism and all this, all this pagan <laughs> uh, polytheistic <laughs> religious positioning that's anti yah having a form of yah is denying the power it's time out for that y'all without faith it's impossible to please it. we gotta take what comes along with it trusting he know what he's doing without faith it's impossible to please him. for he that come to y'all must first believe that he is and that he's a reward or he is he's gonna reward you of them that diligently seek him that have faith in him that is trusting him. Because by, by, by faith, Noah's whole life got interrupted. And the best thing that can ever happen to you is the most high come in your life and interrupt the course of your life. Tell you, no. You're about to fall off the cliff. He know these devils burning up stuff. They got laser beams and they burning up California. He know. He know they jack Israel for their for their identity. He know when we were taught the word, you wasn't taught uh, the genealogies. We skip over that. That's where all the food was, because there's people groups. There's a people that he hate, and he made it plain. And there's a people he loved. He said es he said Esau I hate, because Esau sold his birthright for physical stuff. You got a carnal people that don't like Yah, don't like the things of Yah, don't like the people of Yah. And they know exactly who they are and who they stand with, and that's the devil. But since they control the media, you don't know that. You think they the you think they Israel. You think they the Jews. You send them money. Mm -hmm. And that comes along with sin, the state of this world, sinful, evil. It's them. The movies is like they is because of certain people. They got all the money. They got more money than the whole world <laughs> that print the money, that own the banks, that own this controlling it all. Y'all know who they is and they know who y'all is. And, and, they, and they jack true Israel for their identity and y'all know that too. But the key is, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then he gonna hear from heaven, forget their sins and their land. We gotta check. We need some faith, y'all. Because without it, it's impossible to please him. We got to rise above the threat. We got to rise above what the doctor said. We got to rise above what our finances say. We got to rise above not wanting to take on the inconvenience that comes along with being associated with the most high. Because that's exactly what we read right here in Hebrews 11 chapter. The inconvenience. These folks suffered because they had faith. They suffered in the flesh. He that is suffering in the flesh has ceased from sin. When you start denying yourself, blesses the man that endures temptation. When you're the type of person that will endure temptation, you're tempted to do wrong, but you say I ain't doing it. You will benefit from doing wrong, but you say I ain't doing it because your faith is not in your flesh. Your faith is in Yah. 
Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. He that cometh to y'all must first believe that he is and that he's a rewarder. He's going to make it good for you. Your name is written in the last book of life. He has a call on your life and a purpose on your life, and you need to fulfill it before you get the heck up out of here. And while you're doing it, he's going to dispatch his angels to protect you by you and your loved ones. He's going to take care of you. Because without it, that churchy religious stuff ain't going to help you. A whole lot of people doing a religious thing. Got people coming uh, uh, to the funeral preaching uh, folks into heaven that didn't go. Bunch of liars. We, we ain't got time for that. Who going to be bold enough to tell the truth? Well, then you ain't got to lie. Just preach to the people that's living. You ain't got to say nothing about the person that's gone. And without faith, it's impossible. Come on, y'all. Look at this. Seven verse. By faith, Noah being warned. What's all this warning stuff? He said, I'm finna kill everybody. Is that true? Was that the warning? I'm finna drown everybody. That's the warning. And, and when you when you Christianize mentally, right? Oh, he would he did it already. What you mean he wouldn't do that? The rainbow represent I'm not gonna drown you. I'm gonna burn you up the next time. <laughs> What part of that you don't understand? By, by faith, Noah being warned of Yah of the things not seen yet. What was not seen? Everybody drowning? Killing everybody? Move with fear. Uh-oh, I don't want to die. That should be your state. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a, a living Elohim. You want to see some real faith in action? Folks, start assembling with truth. Folks start coming from among them. Folks stop cussing and lying and getting high and drunk. Folks stop screwing and sleeping around and having a secret life. And now folks cut that out. Folks start repenting. Save me. God, save me. <laughs> it's not my mother, not my father, but it's me, oh Yah, standing in the need of prayer. For by faith, Noah being warned, it's a warning going out. Being warned of Yah, Yah warning of things not seen yet. It didn't happen yet. He says it's about to, though. Move with fear, preparing an ark, start building, spending his money and his time. Build an ark to the saving of his house. His, him heeding the warning saved his house. We need to save our households, y'all. By which he condemned the world. And became the heir of righteousness, which is by faith. He became uh, the, the, the poster child for righteousness, for obeying Yah. And he survived, him and his house. Look at Abraham. By faith, Abraham, when he was called out to go into a place where he should, after receive his inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. He sent him out, like, say, we 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 so spoiled and wicked <laughs> that we're outcome driven. If I do this, what's gonna happen? That's how we think, right? He'll tell you, uh, uh to sow into the ministry. But if I do, what about me? That's how we think, right? He tell you, you shouldn't you shouldn't be sleeping with them. Well, well, they helping me pay my bill. Then what I'm on? That's how people think, right? And you wonder why folks is condemned and damned because the father of faith is Abraham, and he is like an example. That's why he was uh, coined uh, the father of faith, because he is like our example, the patriot that we can look to. Through his bloodline, the Mashiach came because of his faith, and we should be exemplifying that, right? So by faith, Abraham, when he was called out to go into a place where he should ask for, after his receiver's inheritance, hey, you, you ever been promised something, right? And then they give it to you, and you get it home, you open the box, and it's a box full of bricks. You thought it was a TV, didn't you? A VCR? That's when me and Cliff was coming up. It was VC. We thought it was a VCR. It wasn't a VCR. It was, it was bricks. But, but by faith, when he was called out to go into a place which he should have to receive his inheritance, obeyed. He didn't even know where he was going. And went out not knowing whether he went. He didn't even know where he was going. But he trusts the most high. We got to see and know what's going on, huh? We got to, well, that don't make no sense to me. I can't, I can't do that. I can't, uh-uh, I, I don't know. Well, uh-uh, what I'm going to do. No, look. Come on, y'all. By faith, right? He has sojourned into the land of promise. He made it to the promise. As in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles 
with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs, with him of the same promise. Hey, they run around here with little tents. Because the Most High said. They left everything they knew. His family was on the move. He, he built a family on the run, on the go. He looked for a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is Yah. Through faith also Sarah herself receives a strength to conceive seed and was delivered of child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. It was too old for her to have children. He doubled up on it. Her husband couldn't have children, but they trusted Yah. Listen, y'all, look, look, do yourself a favor. If you belong to the Most High, we're going to have to start trusting him. Why stress yourself out being scared? If you're scared, go to church. Uh, if, if you, real talk, if you're scared, assemble. Yeah, be with the Ecclesia. But, but, when you, but, but when you're in the ark of safety and you're doing what the Most High called you, what you scared for? You, you, you're doing what he called you to do? What are you scared for? Love casts out all fear. Fear work is torment. But when you're obedient to the most high, you should be scared if the word is in your life and you ain't changing. You still cussing, smoking cigarettes, getting high, acting a fool. You should be scared because something's wrong with you. Either you're under the wrong ministry or something's seriously wrong with you. Something's wrong with the circumstances if where you're being taught you're not going through the metamorphosis process, you're not changing into his image, then you're definitely in the wrong place without question, no doubt about it. If you're in the right place and you ain't changing, the word is coming for real, then you need to pray. Because we, look, everything he created, he created by his word. He said, let there be light, there was light. If you go to the beginning when he was creating, he did it by his word. And if we're going to be recreated, it's going to be by his word, period. The word should work on you. He should be able to talk to you. He should tell you, he should be able to tell you what to do and what not to do. And you have faith in what he say and do it. Because if you don't do it, that's workless faith that is dead and it ain't going to profit you. See, through faith, uh, 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 Sarah was getting ready to have a baby knowing that she was too old to have one. It took faith for Abraham to go back in that bedroom. He was done. It was over with. No, he said, go on back in there. Go on, Abe, I got you. You don't need no Viagra. I got you. Go on back in there, cat daddy. Therefore, sprang there even one of, okay, okay, uh, let, let, me, let me just skip down. I'm going to let y'all go in a second. I'm almost done. Real talk. I just want to grab, uh, I mean, there's so much here, right? Let, let me just grab one more, right? Let's grab Moses right quick, right? Personally, I could deal with what his parents did, but let's go to the 24 first real quick, and then, and then I'm going to get out of here. But look what it says. Like. It says, like, by faith, listen to what's, look, without faith it's impossible to please him, right? In other words, look, when I get off this line with y'all, I'm going to have to go do what he say. I can't just run my mouth on here. I got to go finish doing what the heck he told me to do, and there's a certain quality of life I got to live. Fool for thought, this is extra, right? We got these fake preachers running around here that we give the benefit of the doubt to. But the word says it's qualifications of a pastor, of a bishop, of a teacher, of a preacher. And these jokers don't fit the bill. You shouldn't be messing with them. That was extra. Anyway, by faith, right? By faith, look, this is the key. You got to have faith. And we got to know what faith is. Faith is hearing the word. Faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of Yah, right? So the word is coming to apply faith meaning we obey it, right? Hebrews, the fourth chapter, talks about uh, the same gospel was preached unto us, was preached unto Israel in the wilderness. But it didn't profit them not being mixed with faith. They didn't do it. He killed all of them. The only two adults that made it in, uh, 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 males that, that made it in, a fighting age was uh, Yahushua or Joshua and Caleb. Everybody else was the youngsters. He killed all the adults. And then he took Moses because he represented the law. He couldn't let them in because you can't be justified by the law. Only thing going to get us in is relationship because the law was just our schoolmaster to lead us to the Messiah. 
24. By faith, Moses, when he'd come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Do you know the benefits of being called the son of Pharaoh's daughter? Do you know what Moses had to look like in order to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, raised in the house with the Pharaoh? He had to be black just like him. That's an extra. By faith, Moses, when he was coming to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Listen, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of Yah than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. He could have any woman he wanted. He had the best transportation, the best food, the best you name it, best jewelry, the best clothes, whatever it was, the horse, whatever it was. He had the best. He was a boss. And he walked away from it. Choosing rather to suffer affliction. Man, they can have this stuff. Feel me? You can have it. All I want is Yah. You can have it. We, we need to learn to have faith in the most high. And it's a gross waste of time to have a form of Yahliness denying the power of the air of being religious. Man, that is so counterproductive. Who are you trying to please? What well, we got to be down with the most high. Much as I love you, I can't do that with you. M m m m m m family, friend, sexy, I don't care what it is. I can't mess with you. I'm not messing with you. I'm not turning on y'all for you. I'm not turning on y'all for me. I'm not turning on y'all for nobody. I can't have faith in me. I, I'd be a fool to have faith in me. I ain't that raw. I ain't that big. I ain't got... To, come on, y'all. I didn't make a covenant with the moon and the sun. I ain't got... Man, I come up short, short in the midget. I need Yah. I need him to deliver me blameless before his presence. I need him to give me the power to continue to obey him. I need his power to even talk to y'all. I can't do it. I teach eight times a week. Ain't no way in the world I can do this without him. Period. It's 100% him, and I'm rocking with him until he come get me. And ain't nobody got to come to the funeral and lie over my body because I ain't leaving him for nothing and nobody. You hear me? And and please, y'all, I'm trying to be like Moses. I'm trying to be like Abraham. I'm trying to be like Sarah and, and Joseph and the patriot. Come on, y'all. Choosing rather to suffer the affliction with the people of Yah than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Esteeming the reproach of the Messiah. He, he was reproached. He was approached and reproached. He was he had problems and issues dealing with the things of the Most High. He had to leave Egypt, run up out of there, and hide in Midian for 40 years. He had to come back and, and like, uh, withstand the president of Egypt to the face with his life on the line. But he had confidence in the Most High. He, he didn't back down. And the Most High showed up and showed out, esteeming the reproaches. Uh, some, look, say if you believe, he will protect you. But there's some inconveniences. There's some things you could do uh, that you would like to do, but you ain't going to do because he told you not to. There's some things that you'd rather not do, and he tell you to do it, even, if, even though you don't feel like it. And esteem it. Instead of walking around here like you sucked on a limb, and you're all mad and pushed out and say mad that you got to Got to do that. I don't feel like all that old complaining. You need to have an attitude of gratitude because what he did for us is way more than we could ever do for him. Esteeming, esteeming, exalting the reproaches, the inconveniences, the, the turmoil <laughs> of being with the Mashiach. Greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. Egypt was rich as I don't know what. Y'all full of pyramids and big gold, everything. They had so much gold. They was buried in sarcophaguses. Big old gold with emeralds and diamonds inside of the doggone casket. And that's for somebody dead. Let's know you living. Man, are you kidding me right now? Esteeming the hassle with being with the Messiah. Greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he had respect unto re to the recompense of reward. He knew that the reward with being with the Most High was way more than what this world can offer him. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what would a man give in exchange for his soul? A lot of people are being tricked out their souls, though, right? My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because we don't know the word like we should. We get caught up in this religious stuff, and we live like the devil, and we celebrate because we think we can live like the devil and still go to heaven. And that's what they, they, they teach it, but it ain't true. 
That's exactly what the serpent taught Eve. And it wasn't true then either. You should not surely die. Yeah, you will. The wage of sin is death. And he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changed his mind. But there is a death that we can be baptized into his to rise up to walk in the newness of life. So now I don't do that no more. I don't live like that no more. If I'm in him, I'm a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. And I have faith in him. He tells me what to do. Did the Mashiach say it? Say, I've come in the volume of the book. That's why when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane saying, I would have this cup pass from me, he couldn't do that. He said, but not my will, thy will be done. He let his will be known, and then he went against his own will that the word can be uh, uh, fulfilled. You hear me? I hope y'all listening. And I'm about done. Listen, esteeming the reproaches, the reproaches, the inconvenience. How, much, how many of y'all on here can go through an inconvenience for the most high? I'm talking about a real one, too. I'm talking about, like, you know, I shouldn't be with you, so I'm leaving. Where are you going? You ain't got nowhere to go. I, me and the most high figure it out. Other folks, I ain't got no, I ain't going nowhere. God know my heart. I hear you. They had to suffer. This is the, the call it the hall of faith. They, 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 they went through all, they, Abraham went, he didn't know where he was going. You, you, but you got to know where you going up because you ain't right. <laughs> you, you, you religious, you, you're hypocrite. You, you, come on, come on. Can I preach the truth? I'm not trying to make friends. I'm making disciples. Esteeming the reproaches of the Mashiach greater riches than the treasures which is in Egypt, for he had respect unto this recompense of reward. By faith he forsook Egypt. Y'all heard that? He forsook town business. He forsook, where you from again? Uh, the valley, Donna? You from uh, Sunny uh, so, so, Lollipop? Where are you from? He forsook... He forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. He was scared of the president. For he endured as seeing him who is invisible. He endured the, the circumstances against himself. Huh. He endured the threat. He, he, he endured, come on, the, forget the luxury. He walked away from the luxury. But now it's exactly the opposite of luxury, his life in danger. He forsook Egypt, not fearing. Now that's the threat now. Forget the fact that he ain't living in luxury no more. Ain't no more jacuzzis or none of that. I don't know how many outfits he had. Looked like he was rolling with one, huh? He had a whole bunch of them when he was in Egypt, I tell you that. By faith, he forsook what caused him to do it is having faith in the Most High, gave him the strength to forsake Egypt. Obeying the word of the Most High strengthened him to do the impossible. He walked away from all that money, all that fame, all them dames. Not fearing, now he in trouble. Now it's a warrant out for his arrest. Not fearing the wrath of the king. And the king could kill him and torture him. Not fearing that. For he endured, because it was hard. He endured as seeing him who was invisible. Come on, somebody. We can do it. Let's stop. I'm, I'm not going to keep going, y'all. But listen, because, you know, I mean, I could preach a little longer. But listen, at the end of the day, um, prayerfully, those that, you know, follow this ministry, you, you, you learn that um, this, this stuff is real. It's not having a form of godliness. That ain't going to work. You gotta have true relationship because he's he's pouring out his spirit on all flesh right now. He's revealing more truth because it's getting real. It's getting ugly and uglier. And right now it's the wrath of Satan. And he's acting a fool. And he's coming for Israel and all believers that's baptized into the family. He's coming for you. And your protection is the most high. You can't play the game. You don't want to be running your mouth about him and not living it. Cause they'll come for you. The devil will come see you about you running your mouth, but you ain't backing it up with nothing. Remember the, the, the guy talking about, I want to cast you out of the name that Paul and them used. They said, man, I know Paul. Who the heck is you? You don't want to, you caught out there with having a form of yachting denying the power there 
You in this, you either all in or all out, and that's the truth. Being all out, you still gonna get your head tore off. Y'all not playing with none of us. Don't you let them uh, uh, try to paint him like he a pussy cat. He loved his children. And he loved us so much that he became our kinsman redeemer. He came just like us to lead the, by example. And then he died for our past sins. Then he baptized himself inside of us to give us the power that we can change and, and become obedient. Having faith in him. Because without faith it's impossible to please him. For he that come to Yah must first believe that he is and that he's a rewarder. He'll reward you to them that diligently seek him. Let's get diligently on the hunt for his face. Walking in his grace. Come on, somebody, please. We don't have a whole bunch of time. We definitely ain't got no time to be playing. Do not sell your soul. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What would a man give in exchange for his soul? Ain't nothing here worth your soul. Your soul is all you got. And everybody you love should see you change. Everyone that hear you call on the worthy name of the Mashiach to see you change. Because he said, he the name of the name of Yah, let him depart from iniquity. Meaning, you name it my name, stop sinning. And he'll give you the power to do it. He'll baptize himself inside of you. So you can say, great is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And you can endure temptation. And you can walk in faith, trusting him, if you're willing to suffer to do it. You're going to have to deny yourself. He said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his straws. They call it a cross, whatever. Take up your torture stake. He was hung on a tree, y'all. Study it. Take up your straws and follow me. And that's exactly what we got to do. And those that agree, say amen. Uh, let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to glean in your word. We pray your word will forth with clarity falling down in the souls of your children, springing up everlasting life, even the transformations, step it up even right now, reveal more truth to everyone that trusts you, that's willing to put faith in you and you alone. We, we have faith in you that you'll uh, present us blameless for your presence, and we'll be careful to give the, the, the praise and the honor, not only now, but forevermore. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, when we pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may. That was the lesson, y'all. Um, Hold on, hold on, Cash. I'm getting off right now. Stay, stay, stay on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was trying to turn in. Oh, I thought you was on the whole time. Okay, stay on. It's good. What you do, hang up? Did I hang her up, y'all? If I did, it was an accident. Sorry. But, um, yeah, I don't know what I was saying. But look, if, if, if the lesson blessed you, and I pray it did, um, push the share button. If it blessed you, I'm pretty sure it'll bless your loved ones. Push the share button so it can bless somebody else. Oh, man, Cliff, me, 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 you need to get together, man. I, 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 I ain't seen you in years, man. We we hollered a couple of times. We're going to have to get together. Real talk. Real talk. Um, Inbox me your number. I got your number. I'm going to call you. Hopefully this worked this time. It, worked. it hung her up again. I don't know what's happening. Um, hit the share button. If you want to support the ministry, um, if you know my number, you can support the ministry through the Cash App, or and you can go to PayPal. Put in my email address d e r r i c k m a n n fifty eight fifty seven at yahoo dot com. And if y'all want to chop it up about the word right quick, all you gotta do is dial three zero two two zero two eleven zero two extension eight one five six four eight. Again, three zero two. 202-1102, extension A15648. Thanks for hanging out with me. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.